are at their new location in Osgood to show us around. Welcome. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. And you are our VNL deal of the week. Uh, we also must mention Nikki, former Ooh. Valley News Live reporter. It's good to be back here. I mean, I don't love the cold, but I definitely love Fargo. And we're indoors. I know when we were on before, we were with our mobile unit, which you had to be outdoors. But we are uh, here at our indoor axe throwing range. And Dustin is going to show us a little bit. Um, tell us about the difference of indoor and outdoor. Oh, I'm just going right into it? Well, yeah, there's, no, there's no wind indoors. Uh, the wind can affect your throw. But uh, it sounds better inside, I think. Do we sound good over there, Lisa? You guys sound great, by the way. <laughs> you have your, you have your right, app, I guess, so... I guess we're getting right into it. I'm just going to... Hey, that's okay. Yeah, I'm just going to throw some stuff and <laughs> for, your, for the viewing audience. Throw some okay. stuff. Okay, so we just added knife throwing, and he's uh, throwing from 12 foot. Oh, that was your warm-up. Okay. Got to step back to 12 feet. And we just added knife throwing. So not everybody does knife throwing, but the World Axe Throwing League just added knives as well. Um, so you throw from 12 foot for one rotation with knives. You step back a little bit, throw from two rotations. So that would be four points, not a bullseye technically uh, with that. But we're, we're in our fall league right now, so we have some people who are throwing knives in our fall league. That was kind of an add-on to ax throwing as well. And then of course we have shovels, which you didn't bring a shovel over here. I didn't, I didn't bring a shovel over here. Shovels? We just warmed up this morning and... Yes, you didn't get to throw shovels when we came over. You gotta do that next time. We thought it was fitting because it snows. We actually threw shovels for the first time down in Florida and we're like, hey, uh, here in North Dakota, we shovel all the time. Why aren't we throwing shovels? That makes more sense. It definitely any does make more sense. Any sharp implement that the... <laughs> well, any sharp implement or tool that the military uses, we, uh, we're trying to throw those things. So maybe we'll do... I don't know if the military doesn't throw spears anymore, but I think spears is next. Like 30-foot spear throw. I would throw a spear. <laughs> so, okay, I have to ask you. First of all, I want to say... Woman-owned business, yes, you own this, Nikki, with your husband, but woman-owned business, veteran-owned business, that's pretty cool. Dustin, we need to ask you, as a veteran, what are you doing to help other vets? So uh, we use a portion of our proceeds to go to the Eagles Healing Nest in Sauk Center. Um, we've used some of our proceeds for Save Our, save our Allies. Uh, it's a organization is bringing uh, Americans and Afghans home from Afghanistan after they were left over there. Uh, so we try to give back to the, some veterans causes and we're always looking for um, other things to do to help out uh, the communities that we're in. So if you got any ideas, just send them. <laughs> but I think one thing that, and I'm not going to speak for you, but axe throwing in general, talk about kind of the correlation between what we do and I'm turning in the reporter oh, here reporter now just now. interviewing my husband <laughs> no but seriously like PTSD and all of those things and just like the stress relief that axe throwing has given you and like-minded other people yeah I mean it started out that's what it was it was a stress relief uh, we went for a date night it was really fun but it turned into something that I just wanted to do on my free time and then I found out you could join leagues and make money in tournaments and um, then I just became obsessed with it. So that's what we're trying to bring to other people as well. And I don't think you have to be a veteran either. We've heard from some people just about the mental health aspect of axe throwing. And we actually met a lady who lost 30 pounds. Now I'm not saying everybody can lose 30 pounds by throwing axes, right. but we met a lady who just league night and coming in once a week, just getting her steps in and finding something in the winter that she enjoyed doing indoors um, for mental health and then physical health as well. Yes, I think that's fantastic. So in an hour. <laughs> we do need to mention, of course, our VNL deal of the week is a great buy, $25 throwing session and then they also get one for free. And this is all at your new location. 
Okay. That's that's a good time. That is a great deal. <laughs> you didn't know about this. No. <laughs> it's like the price that's basically the price of wood. So I know. Punching's free. <laughs> It's a good deal for you if you're coming in for a date night or whatever you want to do. But I will mention we're starting to fill up a little bit around the holiday season because this is definitely a really good place to come for your holiday work party or just bring in the whole family. We've been booking a lot of people already. So you can actually rent all 12 of our targets and this whole space in here or just a portion of it. Um, tell us a little bit about why it's such a good option for... Actually, People, Nikki I mean, and we've Dustin, seen so many faces we light up. are we're actually out of time right now, so I apologize well, for we're that. Out of time. We are out of time. We'd love to spend more time with you. We just got to come and see you. So we'll do that next. <laughs> yes, come and see us. All right, thank we'll you so here. very much. We miss you, Lisa. <laughs> Coming up on today's show, saving money on your energy costs while also helping our local bird population.